everybody, Derek and Ryan here from Badgerland Birding. We're excited to announce we're going to do Migration Madness again. We thought everybody had fun with it last year, so we'd like to give you some fun things to do this spring. It's going to be a little bit different than last year, but we are going to start off by doing a challenge for the month of March. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to get three species for you guys to get out and find for this month, as well as um, doing some other things later this month, too. Yeah, as Derek said, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to do some new and exciting things, but we're going to start with the familiar things we did last year. So, Derek, why don't we uh, roll it and show them what they're going to be looking for. All right, so for this month, uh, we're going to go over the rules real quick. Uh, just like we did last year, you're going to have from the release of this video, which is March 2nd at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time until the end of March at midnight to find all three species you can hear or see them. And of course, we're gonna use the honor system, whether you saw them or not. You can travel wherever you want to see them, but please be safe if you do travel. They need to be seen in person. So no caged birds, no species seen on TV or in zoos, um, stuff like that. So comment on this video with the species you saw, the date and the location before March 31st to be entered into a drawing. We'll probably do the drawing at the end. But please do it all in one comment. You can leave as many comments as you want on the video, but when you do your submission, please leave it in one comment. Because when we go through and look at those comments, it's tough if like you're like, I saw this species, this date, and then another comment way down has another species. So make sure you have that all in one comment somewhere. You can leave other ones, but make sure if you get all three to leave that all at the end. And then you must be subscribed to the channel to win. So if you're not subscribed, please do that. And then feel free to make your own video about it. I know we had some issues with some people um, said they made a video and YouTube took it down for something they thought we did. We will never you know, tell you to take uh, a video you made that has all your own stuff in it down. So um, you know, we love it when you guys do that and share it. You ready yeah, for the first also species, right? Uh, well, I was going to say before that, also get your friends involved in it, too. We want as many people to be participating as possible. So spread this around so that everyone in your communities can have some fun looking for these species. Yeah, we, we thought about it and we wanted to do kind of species that you could either find in the U.S. and Europe, because we know we have a lot of viewers from those places, or they have like a counterpart in each one. So species number one is a cool one. In the US, we have the great blue heron, and uh, Europe, we have the gray heron. So there's a great blue heron photo here, um, but they're very similar looking species. They're kind of, in certain places, a good uh, signal that spring is coming, and they even do over winter in some areas. So excited about that as our first species here. Mm -hmm. Also just very majestic bird. Species number two, we have the gadwall which is one that you can find in the Americas and in Europe. So that's cool. We always try to include, you know, a species of waterfowl or species from different habitats too. And uh, just a, a cute little duck we have in the gadwall. And then for number three, we have the American kestrel, or if you're in Europe, the Eurasian kestrel. Uh, these guys are very fierce little falcons. Um, they're always a fun species to see. And uh, with these three, you know, you have to, you could find them all in one habitat, but you'll probably have to venture a little out to get all three of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these species are actually somewhat migratory, at least too. So a lot of them for where we're located show up in March and maybe in the places you're located, it's a similar story, or maybe you have them year round. Definitely. So to recap the rules you have from the release of this video till the end of the month to find all three species, and then you got to leave one comment saying uh, the species you saw, the date, and the location before March 31st at midnight. And then you'll be entered into that drawing. So really excited for this. And uh, here's a recap of our species, the great blue heron or the gray heron, the gadwall, and then the American or Eurasian kestrel. And then if you're not in either of these places, like I know we had some people from South Africa, you can leave a comment and we'll pick some species for you to find. Not every species we pick is necessarily going to be migratory, but we just want want something fun for you guys to get out and do. And you can always email us at badgerlandburning at gmail.com. And then we'll also be rolling out the rest of the migration madness stuff too. We'd love to do kind of an America's favorite bracket. We have some ideas uh, for that and as well as some other fun things for the next couple months. So this will go through May, kind of the migration madness festivities. Yeah, so enjoy. Get everyone else that you know involved as well and get excited because Migration Madness is here. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.